Hello and welcome to another episode of Sandy Killer Projects. Uh, today we're going to show you how to reset the tire pressure monitoring system on the Generation 2 uh, 2007 to 2014 uh, Chevy Silverado. So there are three different generations currently of the Silverado. There's the 99 to 06, there's the 07 to 2014, and then there's the 2015 to uh, 2023. I should be able to explain how the system works uh, for the Gen 2 and the Gen 3 uh, Silverados pretty easily. I want to try and keep this video as short as possible though, so please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we'll keep making more videos on the Silverado. So the first thing we want to do is inside the cab, we want to turn the car on into the on position uh, to where all the features are on and functioning except for the engine being running. We want to leave that off. So make sure the key is in the on position. Okay, on the Gen 3s, um, you can navigate through the info system, uh, which will be either on the left, sometimes they put them on the right on the newer ones. Um, you navigate through the uh, information system um, until you get to the one that says to uh, relearn uh, tire pressure settings. On this Gen 2, the only way to do it is you turn it into the on position and then you hold the lock and unlock button on the remote until the car beeps twice. So now um, it's in the mode to learn uh, tire pressures. It says tire pressure learning active. Currently at the driver's side, uh, this marker light is turned on. It will turn on the marker light for which side um, it wants you to learn. show you. This is the passenger side, the light is off. Okay, so you um, take something and depress the Schrader valve inside of the tire valve. That is the little teeny button on the inside. You don't have to use a Schrader, Schrader valve tool. I just happen to have one. Um, you push this until uh, the tire deflates enough that the horn beeps once. All right, so after your um, horn beeps, uh, the marker light on the front will turn off. Uh, then the marker light for the next position will go off. It's generally the left rear. Um, if it doesn't uh, end up going off at all, then there's something wrong with the um, actual um, tire pressure monitor inside of the tires. A lot of times batteries fail on them. Okay, so after you do the driver's front, the marker light should turn on for the rear. Um, so you would go over to the rear tire and you would do the, do the same thing. You'd unscrew the cap uh, for the tire valve and you'd depress down on the Schrader valve to release air from the tire. So generally once you've done the front and then you follow the lights over to the rear, it'll take you to the right rear and then the uh, passenger side front. Um, you go through all of them and it'll reset your tire pressures and uh, tell the system which position each tire is in if you've rotated the tires recently. Um, in this particular case, um, our tire pressure uh, monitoring system, the actual um, thing inside of the tire valve um, has gone bad. Um, the, this, they've never been changed, um, so this car is like 15 years old. Um, so uh, ours won't reset, um, but on the gauge you'll show correct tire pressures and correct locations. You also need to make sure to go back through and re-air up your tires. So if you have bad tire pressure monitoring sensors, um, if one of them is bad you may as well consider them all bad. They're about $30 a piece. They have a battery inside of them. The battery drains over time um, and they all then need to be replaced. If one of them goes bad, um, the chances are the other ones are going to start failing one right after the other, so it's easier just to replace them. Uh, the only other thing that's an another added cost that goes along with it is you're going to have to um, have somebody take the tires off and break them loose from the bead to be able to get to the uh, sensor behind the um, uh, valve. So uh, make sure you fill up your tires with recommended tire pressure. These are aftermarket BF Goodridge KO2 tires. Uh, they're 33 inches. Um, because of the weight of the vehicle, we run these at 60 pounds. Don't take that number. If you have those tires, make sure you use the recommended uh, stuff for your equipment. Um, then uh, whether the tire pressure monitor sensors work or not, uh, make sure to use a um, something else to check the tire pressure to make sure that the tire pressure that's on the uh, screen is correct. So if we were able to help you out in some way, shape, or form with your Gen 2 or Gen 3 Chevy Silverado, uh, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. That's what keeps us making more videos. We actually have a few more videos that are going to be coming up on this uh, Chevy 2500 6.6 .6 liter diesel. Um, so make sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll keep making more videos. Thanks for watching.